You know, as we talk about power lines and fires, I want to add some context and perspective because it sure feels like in California that this is a PG&E thing or a Southern California Edison thing or the management of power uh, throughout the state. And it just seems like we're all alone on this. And I just want to let you know, as frustrating as it is going through it in California, this is happening all over the world. Let me give you an example behind me. This is Australia. Uh, in that part of the world, they call wildfires bushfires. Uh, they have a very long dry period, just like we do in California. So there's some similarities, uh, but the trees are different. These are gum trees. In California, we call these eucalyptus trees. But the reality is the same, is that they've discovered over the years that a large number of their big famous fires were caused by power line failures. So let me just read through this, and then I want to show you the date, because that's important. They say that this is an article from 2013, this is six years ago. Bushfire risks, so wildfire risks posed by power line failures are in the spotlight following last week's crisis in New South Wales with officials at odds over whether electricity should be cut in extreme weather conditions. Here's some context. One rural power company, South Australia, would cut power ahead of big wildfire and uh, big uh, uh, fire weather events. Uh, New South Wales, which is a much more urbanized area, that's where Sydney is, famous Sydney, they were skeptical of doing this because they thought of all the downsides uh, that lay ahead of them. Well, what's happened is over the years, they've decided that yes, they're gonna cut the power. And in fact, I wanna show you a video here. This is in Western Australia, same kind of situation. It's kind of rural, kind of urban at the same time, but they have these very slick public relation videos warning people about the risks of fire and power lines and the fact that they will cut power ahead of time to prevent fires. So they are dealing with the same situation from years ago, an ongoing, very controversial topic. In big weather events with fire weather, do you cut the power or not? Many power companies around the world are deciding to err on the side of caution uh, because they know what may happen next. It's an international issue that everybody's trying to solve and we hope it gets solved soon.